Hi, uh, this is Sonia with RC Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how I assemble this. Um, it's a six and a quarter by six inch envelope, and it has pockets that come along with it. And it's part of it's a digital kit that I just now came out with. So I'm going to show you what comes with it and how to assemble it and all that. It's quite spacious. You can put all kinds of ephemera in here and add it to a journal or use it as a card to give to someone, a greeting card and give it to someone. Um, there are manner of, all manner of different ways that you can use this. So I'm just going to show you what comes with it. So to start out, the files you get, you're going to print out your um, front cover, back, your back cover, your front cover, and these pages come with ephemera that you can cut out, and then your pockets that come with it. And you also get double-sided sheets in case you want to print front to back double side and I did this one like that so I printed this front and back front and back front and back so you can choose to do it with two double sided or you can do it single sided and maybe stamp on the other side if you like so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out you can use a paper trimmer or you can use your scissors, whichever one's more comfortable for you. I'm definitely going to keep some of the scraps from the double sided papers because they have, I still like the designs that are on them and I can use that along with my making some other ephemera to go with the envelope. So I'm going to basically score, I'm going to score on this line, this line, this line, this line basically on all the distressed edges. I want to score and fold on those lines. Now if you don't have a scoring board you can simply just fold it on the line. But to me, it's just easier if you just go ahead and score it and fold, score and fold. And then do all of these like that. Okay, so they're all scored and I'm just going to fold them. Well, I guess I forgot to score this one. <laughs> That's fine. Now, I like to distress everything I have. You don't have to because it's already have some distressed highlights around them. But I am going to distress this upper part of the closure of the envelope. So I'm going to use some, um, this is Vintage Photo Distress Oxide by Ranger. And I'm just going to take, um, I'm using these little 
this color box daubers to blend my colors in on here and stress it. So I'm going to distress along the crease right here. I'm going to do the same thing with the front. Also the stress on the inside so that when you open up your envelope it'll show it'll have that distressed look to it and I'm gonna do the same thing with this one Since this is really brown, I'm just going to go back over it with some black distressing just to kind of highlight it because to me it's not showing up very well. To me, that gives it more definition. Okay, so now it's time to glue it together. And I'm using some um, art glitter glue. And it comes with this little pin in it. Uh, it's supposed to have like a little top with the top popped off. But uh, this pin keeps it from drying out. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Get it in there. Okay, so I'm going to take this one flip it on the bottom flap and just add a little bit of glue on this end and on this end and then I'm going to put the side flap over top of it and just hold it for a little bit and I'm going to do the same thing to this one and just kind of hold it in place add a little bit more glue Hold it. And I'm just going to go around this edge and add glue. And then we're going to apply this to the back of the envelope. So we're going to take it like this, open it up, and then we're going to apply this over top of it. So you're just going to line the bottom up and then the sides. And then press down. I didn't line it up 
right but it'll be okay that's why I like to use wet gloves because you can still it gives you room to move your paper around before it becomes completely sealed so you can adjust the positions of the paper so this is basically your envelope so and now we're going to add what did I just oh we're going to add your pockets on there you can do this one on top or bottom however you like it so we're going to use the same concept that we did gluing this together you're just going to add glue on these little bottom corners here and here you're going to hold it for a few seconds and you don't have to use this kind of glue you can use double sided tape or whatever kind of glue you want Fabri-Tac whatever your favorite glue is and take your bone folder or just something flat smooth your edges down and then I'm just going to apply glue here and around the edges on each of your flaps the tops and side flaps and I'm just going to apply it on here in the middle at the bottom And it's basically done and you could just add a closure of some sort um, I've embellished this one I just I took one of the buttons that you get here and I backed it with uh, some black paper and then I lifted it up some dimensionals and added it to here added the amour back there I backed all the embellishments with back black paper and it stressed them and then just added them on there and then I cut out the ephemera the different tags and um, just added them to the kit Then on the back, I took, I added this black to that. Here it is, yeah. Just cut that out. Added some Velcro for my closure. Added some leaves and one of these little flowers. leaves and the flowers and I made different variations of the same card on this one I 
I added this other thing and I also add tabs here if you can see I took the tabs here and I added this little button instead of this button and then on the back um, well, I haven't finished that back yet but on this one I added the butterfly and this little image but yeah there are just different ways you can do it however you like so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do please like and subscribe uh, share comment and continue to watch my videos thank you